Okay, folks, uh, <clears throat> this is Nemesis, which is basically probably something pretty close to probably bad sinking here. Folks, this is Beano Black, and basically, this is what is the lowest normally, okay? And possibly even this is the lowest this ever gets. But we do know by looking at this object here, an asteroid, because from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and also from, we're going to look here at space thing, they're going to tell us that this is an asteroid, which they are amateur astronomers, and they're going to have a shot that they're going to show. The number one thing is to keep in mind, if I move the sun around, no matter whether we have the line of, yes, the sun moves through the solar system, folks, and it throws, I mean, universe, universes, the sun moves it does not just sit still on a string like everybody thinks it's the center of the universe all the time. It is somewhat our center of our Milky Way universe, but the idea that we are melded with asteroid belts, the supergiant's main sequence, and who knows what other uh, universe right now, or universes, because we don't, not everybody's telling us everything. So now let's move this map around a little bit, and we're going to show you the 2000 OJ8 that uh, our folks here at and these folks are going to know their site and we want to thank them and I'm not going to say names and I'm just going to use a disclaimer at the end and I'm just redistributing their information so that everybody gets a good glimpse now uh, 1920 or whatever we're getting auroras up and we're also knowing that we have CM, CME impact uh and you can read this here. I have it here long enough. I'm not going to read it out and stumble and bumble. And then so the auroras, if you look at the uh, the the north tonight, you should be able to, as long as you're in North America, you'll probably get a darn good glimpse of... Uh, and over the weekend, we had Comet Elenin being viewed by uh, another team of astronomers. They gave you the names here. I have a two-night blink animation I'm going to show you in a second. And I'm going to also show you, the, okay, the 22nd here, we've got a coronal mass that hits Mars. Uh, the other, and uh, I'm just going to say space weather, and I don't want to get in trouble with them, but I do, we all love their information. They show us all, and it's, I think it is a conglomeration of amateurs and also professionals, so... I just don't want to get in trouble for showing their logo, but I'm, and I don't, I just, this is all going to have my disclaimer at the end, so the idea that it all still should be in contact, so the idea that I'm not going to try to outdo them in getting more, I'm just basically referring information that I know that a lot of people that normally look at their site have probably already looked at this information, so I'm just reemphasizing what they're showing you. So we're going to go to this here, the comet uh, action, and I was kind of, I think I've lost where there was an amateur earlier tonight on their site. I don't know which page it would be on now, but one guy had a shot that he sent them with the idea that he is showing you the, uh, the basically comet shower of, I might say it wrong a little bit, but it's Oricus. And we've had a hell of a shower because the idea that from the 20th, on the 20th, we had exactly, we're going to open this picture up because this is going to be showing you this object right here. Let me freeze and go to, this is the object from JPL that they're going to be showing you in the two night, and basically it flashes and it's going to show you two nights real fast of action in space of bright objects, okay? So no matter when we look at the view of the sun, whether we truncate it up and turn it into just like if it's going through its turn, as we are turning also on the Earth and all the other elements that are coming back behind us and passing us that are smaller than Earth. And then I play around with this. We're still going to have that basically asteroid belt, OJ, and it was found in 2008, I believe. Uh, Jupiter's going to be back here. Okay, so this two-night flashing of what they're going to show you of 
what they believe is left of Elenin and also what you will see of this 2000 OJ8 asteroid belt is not the sun, which the sun is in the center of everything that we're showing you. And I will also try to pull up a shot current of Mercury and Venus and show you what's around the sun so that you'll understand that. If you look here closely, you'll see the anoid of, or the noid of, this is the Earth right there. It's kind of hard to see because it's so close. But there's Earth, and you can see the IU, how close it is right now. And it's been closer. If I was to back up, let me go real fast. It's been down below one, yes, yeah, locked in at 128, 128, 0 0.128 IU. And that was on October 12th, 13th. And the 14th, and then it went to 120, 0 0.129 on the 15th, and then we will get up to the 24th. So here's current, and the idea that no matter what, the sun is here. So the bright, large object they are showing you in this two-night amateur shot, or even not amateur, because these guys could be professionals that they're showing from space and weather, and we all like to get updates on space weather and we know what site to go to just don't want to get in trouble for anything copyrights using their name but I'll use my educational deal at the end it should take care of all legalities now there's the Sun so the idea that when they're looking back towards Jupiter which should be the brightest object and let me give you the info on that okay quickly before I give you Jupiter here you're gonna have all these asteroid belts well, if you bring up large minor planets 2000 these are the, all these asteroid belts members that are close by, ladies and gentlemen, a long list. I think it's way over, what are they going to say, total of 100, okay? And then it'll give you also, it'll show you the farthest, the median, the highest, the lowest. So, i.e., NASA lying to us, we have many things close to Earth right now. Median, and the idea that we know that we have plenty of objects you know, on the 20th we had four on the 21st we had 19 on the 22nd we had 33 and on the 23rd we had 25 and on the 24th we had 19 uh, they were watching the oricus and all the uh, asteroids and comets going by and these asteroid belts are close so NASA sat around and lied to us on that one Thursday here within the last month uh, a lot of crap about all these asteroid belts being so far away from Earth so with uh, all the triangulation up at the sun, uh, we'll pretty much get the truth table of like, uh, we know what anything in the scientific community of what a truth table considered comes of. It's a diamond, okay? So we have plenty of truth up at the sun. This here, it was taken something like an hour ago. Yeah, pretty much an hour ago, because I got 7, 18 p.m. Central Time right now. So, that's five hours difference from Zulu time there. So, we have all this triangulation up at the sun, and we have this that we're going to go to, and I'll get an exact what's diving there. We'll get close to with the planet. But the idea, keep in the mind, no matter what we end up finding, whether this is a planet, this could be Mercury or not, is the idea of the size of it. Check out the size, and check out the tail so something's move awful fast in space if that's possibly and I really don't think that's mercury but just remember keep inside in in your mind the size of this object this is the Sun here folks okay and I will try at the end to give us these close objects I'll just center in on one and we'll know what it is when we get there but I'll get to one of the close objects of Earth this is all Sun we're looking at right now and plus the idea that we were looking away from Earth because this is a amateur or professional two night lap shot of on the 22nd so you can always rewind and go back to this information on Jupiter here folks here's the information on Jupiter okay and number one is the idea that this is Jupiter here and then the idea that the other objects here Europa then Jupiter then Ganymede, Io Callisto okay I think that's Io and Ganymede. I might say I'm wrong. And Callisto. Okay. So the idea that I'm going to go to the two night laps. Okay. And then I'll sc I'll scroll down here too and let you see a little bit more Jupiter. And keep in mind that the idea that Jupiter is humongous.
11 radius is the sun, ladies and gentlemen. 44.423 miles equal radius. That's how big Jupiter is. Jupiter is humongous. 317.83, and I'm pretty darn sure it's the masses of the sun. All right. And keeping in mind the 2000 OJ8, the idea that here's the Earth, Jupiter's back here, and here's all of what we've been taught and learned. So the idea is, I'm not going to get confused on saying other planets right now, but there's really nothing. I mean, there is a ton out here, and you'll see that in this next shot. And here is tonight's all you and everything of OJB or OJ8 2000 2000 OJ8 okay and that's the earth right there this is the earth right there and there is the OJB so that basically when I was showing you the earliest of the 19th and the 20th of the asteroid belts around earth that NASA told you though they're nowhere close to the earth yeah mm -hmm, okay this is the two night lapse so basically, every time you see this flash, it's somewhere within the two nights of, and it's really quickly fat back and forth. This is the 2000 OJ8. This is what's left of Elenin, which is a lot more than what people make out to be. Okay. So when you match up, this should be Jupiter down here and the objects I just showed you at Jupiter, because Jupiter should be the biggest thing around. And then we have all these other objects that are humongous back here that we see. And you can match them up. And I don't need all professional astronomers getting all this. Like, we've always known all this is back there and everything like that. What I'm trying to do is lay it down to layman's terms of the idea that there is humongous objects out there and all the stuff that we were taught years ago. And yes, with us getting the telescopes up into space and not just down on the ground, we make all sense of this stuff. But these are still amateurs that are caught taking these pictures and time lapses on Earth's surface, looking up and looking back at 2000, where it's flashing that line back and forth, is considered to be the object of the asteroid belt 2000 TJ8. Right there, back and forth. Two night lapse. Okay, and then this is what's remnants left of common elenin which is quite large, as I told everybody with the big, the green backgrounds way early when they were turning Lasco around with the green background. Those giant red dots were super giants, 74 times the size of the sun, down to four times the size of the sun. So those are over towards the sun, which in this shot we should not be seeing the sun. This should be Jupiter. Okay, and then there's these next very bright objects next to Jupiter. So we're going to end up, maybe if I get enough time, I'm going to do two videos tonight and we'll go to Google Sky and we'll figure that stuff out and see what's close to Jupiter and what is up there. We'll go to a current map and find out what this object here is in this time zone of tonight, looking at the sun and see what's diving up there. But we do have all this triangulation on the sun and a good quick example of them blocking out earlier night. This is an example of earlier this evening Zulu time where they were blocking out that object to the right. Current sky chart tonight, 1024, 736 p.m. Central Standard Time. We have Jupiter to the east. The sun is way to the west with Venus, and I'll take you to the sun. Nearby known stars in 3D next to the sun right now. Here they are. Centauri, Regal, Cantaris, Lighten, read them. They're there. They're close by the sun right now. Okay, this is pretty much over Australia right now. And you have Venus, Mercury, pretty much on top of each other. This is what you'll see in the shot I'll show you real fast at the end. So this is the action we're seeing from this here constellation and Saturn. Because this shot is from behind the sun. Pretty much current with that map at 7.47 central time. And this, yeah, this is about an hour old, but this shot is pretty much that constellation and Saturn right there behind the sun, i.e. all the Vs we see up there. This is a V, folks. And the disclaimer in a second, but look at the V that happened when all that constellation and Saturn got together. Please train this asteroid belt map. Legal.